description of a global company, including Apple. Right. Uh, thanks. We certainly appreciate your attendance here, Mr. Secretary, and then your team. Um, I represent as CEO of a company called Solar Reserve. I was on the China Trade Mission, um, uh, I think it was last year. Uh, these things run together a bit. Um, Solar Reserve is a, is a technology company based in California. We actually manufacture uh, a part of a system for energy storage utilizing wood salt. Um, and uh, our main manufacturing partners, our main manufacturing partners are actually based in St. Louis, a uh, conventional energy company called New Ericsson. We also have manufacturing partners in California. Uh, and largely for our technology, our market is the international. This industry is a trillion dollar, renewable energy and energy efficiency is a trillion dollar market worldwide. Um, in the US, there's, in, the, in this sector, the companies represented around here, the wind and solar and hydro and ethanol, energy efficiency and light bulbs and batteries, is about three million jobs, uh, which is a huge uh, part of the sector and it's, and it's growing faster than any other sector in the world right now, um, and certainly amongst the US so there's a few things that I want to touch on. Uh, one is uh, our first recommendation had to do with uh, uh, our financing of projects. So certainly we're competing as well as these other groups are competing in the international markets. Some of them are emerging markets. Um, some of them are highly contested markets. We're competing head to head against the Europeans or the Chinese. It's really the, the uh, kind of multilateral and U.S. Uh, um, endorsed uh, financing activities. So at some OPIC, USTA are critical, critical resources for us as we go into those markets. Um, so we're competing head to head against you know, the Chinese and the Japanese and the Europeans that have very strong um, export uh, agencies. Um, we've made recommendations to continue to support those in the US as well as uh, to kind of fully uh, staff the board of Exxon, which right now is, is curtailed because it doesn't have a full board quorum. So they can only approve uh, financing is under 10 million. Uh, we've got billion dollar projects that we're, that we're involved in um, that, as I said, has hundreds of millions of dollars of potential U.S. Uh, um, equipment supply. And you know those agencies are critical for us to remain competitive against the, the rest of the world, which is you know, ramping up some of, the, some of that support. Um, second issue I want to touch on is our, our recommendation number two, which had to do with messaging. And you know, as you well know, in, in international markets, uh, in, 